Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Yashala. Peace be unto the nation of Israel, whom are modern day so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Speckle Bird Israelites, whom are the Israelite foreigners scattered across the four corners of the earth, including within America, Babylon the Great, and where the Most High Yahweh's chosen people of the nation of Israel. So without further ado, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashak, Yahushai, Baruch Kodash, which is all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten and anointed Son, Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, whom is our strength and our Redeemer, and our light and our salvation. And with that, Mashana, Kabawadim Lahasaquanim, Shalagadawarika, which is double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of Israel, pushing a sound action in faith, truth, and sincerity. And Shalom, honors and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, the elect governing body of the 144,000, along with the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. All right. And this is your fellow servant, Malak Rayab. She's back at it again with another video. Through the spirit of prophecy, being the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach and Havashai, who in the master of the world, eagerly referred to Jesus Christ. And it's just another video uh, of an, uh, another open rebuke uh, lesson on this uh, pagan Greco-Roman uh, Satanelia day, okay, the, of, of the worship of uh, Ashashua, Adawamium's uh, pagan Greco gods, you know, uh, uh, regarding the the idea or belief in the worshiping of multiple gods through an uh, uh, an ideology known as uh, polytheism, all right, and um, you know to further uh, tear down the strongholds and stumbling blocks of this uh, pagan idolatrous witchcraft uh, by focusing on Saint Nicholas, who, who was, was an actual uh, saint, an Israelite, a so-called black man from the Southern Kingdom of Israel, and uh, the false correlation from Santa Claus, uh, 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 you know, otherwise known as Odin, Saturn, Cronus, and so forth, okay, uh, and Saint Nicholas, you know, regarding the the pagan uh, uh, correlation, you know, during the uh, the Nicene Council by a uh, wicked uh, Israelite uh, Constantine, okay, uh, to further appease the pagans, man. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and further uh, bring out some information, you know, through the uh, through a couple of articles and, and a, um, a clip, and filter everything through Adam Rata, you know, uh, through uh, through uh, biblical prophecy rather, and uh, Adam Rata's out of further edifying his ordinary elect. So. This is on uh, HistoryDaily.org. It says, St. Nicholas, the man, the myth, the legend. All right. It says, St. Nicholas is just one of the many names by which we call the jolly old elf who allegedly... All right. See, Satan, the distraction here. Let me see if I can get rid of this. If not, see, I'm Satan. Don't worry about it. But it says... Um, Anyway, we know that St. Nicholas was a real person. Over the years, the real-life story of this Christian saint merged with folklore from Scandinavia to form the basis of our modern-day Santa Claus myths. But there are, say, see that? Santa, Santa Claus myths. But there are still a few differences, you know, because, there, like it says in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new on his son. Because the, 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 the Christmas ornaments, all right, and, and the star on, on the top of the tree that, that, that uh, people, you know, modernly use to uh, decorate this uh this this christmas tree which is really a tree to commemorate tammuz all right um you know goes back to uh the scandinavians most recently during that 12 day winter uh festival uh to to the yule log all right all right which uh, the burning of the yule log is is further symbolic of the burning of, of human flesh regarding the vibration of uh pagan christmas which which uh required uh, human sacrificing of a blood uh, fire sacrifice uh, to Satan, all right, through the avenue of pagan worship through these deities, man. You see, and that's why throughout these uh, times of the year, especially during the winter solstice, these uh, wicked elite require uh, blood ritualistic sacrifices. Okay, the case in point, there was a situation down there in, uh, 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 I'm not sure if it was Pakistan, it might be Pakistan, it was, it was the Elamites nonetheless, but it was uh, 38 people wound up dead, okay, down here. You know where I'm at. There, there was a, there was a death. Uh, all right. So uh, 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 around the time of so-called New, uh, uh, you know, the beginning of Christmas, where people are worshiping Bacchus, the god, the god of wine and uh, uh, and mirth, okay, otherwise known as Dionysus, okay, giving themselves over to these gods and putting a curse on themselves, man. So everything has a, a origin in, 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 in the origin, all right, of this Saturnelli days is satanic. So it says, um, and the Santa Claus, by the way, is really uh, Santa is an anagram of Satan, okay, in which uh, Santa Claus is really translated to Sa uh, Satan's claws, see, as in, as in the claws of a, of a beast, you see, because this is the nature of the self-proclaimed white man, Aishashua, okay, like it says in uh, Job 30 and 8, 
So it says here, let's take a closer look at the real life of St. Nicholas to see how the roots of the Santa stories begin. A Turkish bishop it says the real St. Nicholas was a third century bishop from Greece who served in a region that is now Turkey. He headed up a large congregation of faithful Christians and even served on a council of Nicaea to debate biblical theories. According to legend, you see, so he sat within the, 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 the uh, council of Nicaea under Constantine, the so-called black man, a Jew, from the southern kingdom of Israel, further confirming that St. Nicholas, a saint, an Israelite, a Jew, okay, so-called black man, is, is an Israelite. And it's going to further reveal that in, 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 this, uh, you know, in, in this article. So it says... Uh, so it says, uh, so that's jumping down right here. It says, while it's difficult to uh, uh, to prove these these claims, in which you know above they they claim that he slapped somebody with a shoe, or whatnot. It says, um, we do know that when the bones of Saint Nicholas were unearthed, his nose showed signs that it had been broken before. Now, what does that what does that entail? Let's go ahead and and bring out some history. Okay. Matter of fact. Um, All right, so let me go ahead and get go to another go, go to the other browser, okay? To bring out some info, bring out some uh, some images of uh, let me see. Actually, it might be might be in this browser where uh, going into how uh, there were there were old ancient artifacts and statues of of noses being broken, man, right here. So. So when you actually look this up, you see the, the, the ancient images or artifacts, in this case, images of the artifacts and statues down in Egypt, where Jake has a, a, a rich, you know, a, a secular history within, you know, spoken about in Exodus 1 and 13, where, uh, you know, the, the Egyptians uh, 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 caused Israel to serve uh, slavery with rigor, you see, and that's why we have rich history in, in, in Egypt. That doesn't mean that we're Egyptians, all right? This means that we have history in Africa, with, you know, including the, 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 the land of Egypt. OK, and that's why uh, within the old Egyptian uh, hierogly uh, hieroglyphs, uh, hieroglyphics um, is this. It displays Jake, so-called black men with the uh, so-called Zulu knots and cornrows, man. But what manner of people wears those hairstyles? Jake. So that further confirms our history with Egypt and how they, they, they look to further uh, uh, withdraw us from um, the history of who we are. OK, that much more further through by uh, breaking, you know, the, no, the, the noses or the, the image, the, the, the images of, of our noses or the noses off of these statues for the fact that Jake is known for his full features, his full lips and full nose, for example. You see that? So that's the reason why they they broke off uh, uh, the nose of St. Nicholas uh, image when he died after he died, man. Further confirming who he is. So going back to the article. All right. It's a lot. Let me go back. All right, so uh, all right, so back to the article. It says, um, you're jumping down a little bit. It says, uh, now right here, you know, it basically goes into how uh, it goes into the history of you know the, you know, in the folklore of the, um, you know, the so-called image or the so-called Santa Claus dropping Christmas presents down the chimney. Now this goes back to Saint Nicholas uh, delivering. A fortune, good fortune to, uh, you know, no, um, you know, misguided and unfortunate uh, people, which are Israelites. All right, when he he uh, he delivered gold down the chimney to this this Israelite family, okay, and that's what that that uh, you know, the the the, the, the uh, Santa Claus uh, folklore of dropping the Christmas tree uh, presents down the the chimney goes back to Saint Nicholas. That's why Christmas Day was formerly known as Saint Nicholas Day before the Protestant Reformation. Uh, during the Renaissance period when these devils came back into power. So jumping down, it says, with little means to feed them and no dowry to marry them off. And that further confirms he's Israelite because dowry is an ancient Israelite custom, like it says in Deuteronomy 22nd chapter. All right, so jumping down. All right, jumping down here. So you see the mistletoe, okay, which is a, a phallus symbol going back to Egypt, okay. Further confirms just this holiday is pagan, man. Uh, so it says, uh, images of St. Nicholas. By the 1500s, images of St. Nicholas had evolved to look more like a kindly grandfather figure. Elements of the Norse god Odin and the Roman god Saturn could be seen in his depictions, and his legend likewise began to Im imbue him with magical abilities. See that? Witchcraft, divination, such as flight and omniscience. Parents invoked Satan, 
Let's like it. Parents invoked St. Nicholas's name to encourage their children to be polite and say their prayers. So this is the image that uh, so-called uh, Santa Claus goes back to. Pagan, uh, Odin, Saturn. Okay, this goes back to Cronus. Okay. And to further expound on that, let me go ahead and get this other article. All right. On worldhistory.org. Dealing with uh, Saturn. Okay, the god of uh, agriculture. All right. Synonymous with uh, Tammuz. All right. The god of crops. Worship is the god of crops. So it said, and that's why they they keep Christmas during a dead of winter where, where crops and agriculture dies to further commemorate death. Okay. Because it says in Revelation 6 and 8, you know what I'm saying? It speaks about that pale horse. Okay. That represents death. That's Ashashua, okay, the self-proclaimed white man who's behind this religion, this 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 restraint, all right, of 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 uh of righteousness by way of his satanic council. So it says here, uh, you see, see here, the image of Saturn or Cronus, all right, and it says Saturn, our Satanist, was a Roman god with a similar history to Cronus from Greek mythology. Often depicted in art wielding a scythe, he was considered an agricultural god, especially associated with seed corn. Now, jump now, speaking of Cronus, now it's further, you know, um, further reveal the wickedness behind this image and, and, and the vibration of this image. It says, it says, uh, as the Greek religion became more Romanized, Saturn or Satanus, often pictured holding a scythe, became more closely associated with the Greek god Cronus, the lord of the universe, which is a false uh, correlation to the Heavenly Father, which is wickedness. It says, it says, the Lord of the universe and the God who devoured his own children. See? So this 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 is a, a further indicative of the uh the, the highest form of witchcraft being uh the sodomy of uh young undeveloped boys, all right, on behalf of one of their top idols, Aleister Crowley. You see, and that's why this is so rampant in Roman Catholicism. Okay? You know, because this is the origin that it goes back to, so called Christmas. See, and that's why you see uh, uh, I do mean here feasting on a child. Because that's like it says in Deuteronomy 32 and 32. This devil is a vine of Sodom, man. You see. So I'm going to get the first precept. All right. In the book of uh, Romans, chapter one, verse 25. You see, because in this clip I'm about to play, there is an uproar about this I do mean over, uh, you know, black so-called black Santa Claus images appearing in malls and whatnot, you know, marketplaces. OK, so what's the whole uproar? Because you, you, it's over your your uh, so-called white supremacist chokehold over this earth, this uh, wicked covering cast of darkness, all right, being dimmed by the Lord for exposing you devils, man. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. Okay, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? These devils, man. Okay. All right, through uh, a Roman iconoclasm during the Renaissance period, and that's and that's why uh, uh, the images of the, the the false images of the saints, all right, and and, and uh, under the judges, okay, the judges being the Lord spoken about in uh, Job nine and twenty four, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, all right, and the saints, his sanctified ones, the Israelites, pursuing Psalm one forty eight and fourteen, are melanated people, man, which I'm about to further uncover here, okay, so 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 who you know, case in point, who the truth. Who does the truth manifest in? Who's who's the truth dwelling rather? Okay, First John chapter five, verse nineteen. And we know that we are of the Most High, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of the Most High is come and hath given us understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him that is true, even in His Son Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who's the so-called black man, pursuing a revelation of first chapter. It says this is the true power and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. So, so the, 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 these people that are in, in, in involved in Sardinelli Day today, okay, are, are hypocrites, man. Okay, those are the same people that claim to believe in the Most High, but, you know, uh, uh, but the hearts are far from him, man. Okay, so the truth lies within the nation of Israel. Okay, to, uh, to, to expound on that point, this is First John 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law, and idolatry is sin, man. Idolatry is wickedness. Okay, spiritual fornication. And that's why the, uh, we got kicked out of the land of Jerusalem and scattered across the four corners, man. And that's how and that's and that's how Constantine then wound up in Turkey because by way of the curses. Okay, uh, verse five. And we know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him is no sin. Okay, so who 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 was uh, uh, preordained and pre-sanctioned to, 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 uh, to be to descend into the world as a sacrifice. All right. For the sins of Israel. 
Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. Okay? The so called black man. All right, from the tribe of Judah, pursuing in Hebrews 7 and 14. All right, for this, uh, 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 depicted in uh, Daniel, uh, the 10th chapter, verses uh, 5 to 6, and Revelation 1, verse 13 and 15, man. Okay? So, this is Psalm chapter 148, verse 14. Salakia. Psalm chapter 148, verse 14. And it reads, He also exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, the sanctified ones of Israel. Okay, synonymous with a, a, a being consecrated or holy, pure, separate from every other nation that, that, that the Lord created, man. Okay. It says, even of the children of Israel, a people near and to him, praise ye the Lord Yahweh. All right. So the saints are the Israelites, man. And it tells you Amos 9 and 7 that the, the, the Israelites are melanated people, man. Likened it to the uh, Ethiopians. Okay. You see? And that's why... When you read that book, Nature Knows No Color Line, on, on page 52, uh, it speaks about it speaks about the history, man. All right, about the creation of the word uh, Egyptian, which is the Greek word, okay? All right, which means, uh, or, or Ethiopians, rather, okay? Which the prefix of that word, Ethiop, means burnt face. So the real, the, the authentic Jews, the Israelites, so -called, are so-called black people, man. Okay, and that's what Frederick affirms that St. Nicholas is an Israelite, so-called black man. So I'm going to play this clip on uh, TYT, okay, to further uh, substantiate the point of lesson regarding the, the pagan origins of Santa Claus, Satan's Claus, okay, in a false correlation to St. Nicholas, an Israelite, to further push out Ishashua's uh, Idumian madness, okay? So I'm going to play this clip. So the fight over Black Santa 